Thank you, John and Helen. As they mentioned, my name is Ferran Ootomo, and I'm your lifestyle and wellness anchor. Our guests earlier have talked about different elements of success. But the first thing that I'd like to say is that success is not about money. Success is about a state of mind. The definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim, purpose, or goals, or the attainment of wealth, position, or honors. It is usually said that there is a thin line between success and failure. But here's the thing. Have the parameters for success changed over the years? And how do the different sexes qualify success or being successful? Monday, as we all know, is Women's Day. So my conversation is going to be slightly tilted towards women's success parameters. And with me today is Chizoba Atsu, founder of Earl's Ice Box and author of the Earl's Ice Box Cocktail Guide. Earl's Ice Box is a renowned Nigerian drink service company that has been in operation for 14 years and has served hundreds of organizations and events. Welcome, Chizoba. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Happy to be here. So, as I said earlier, our mm. earlier guests, they've touched on the different elements of success. But I want, to, I want us to break it down and I want us to dig deeper and look at success from, from a slightly different angle. Mm -hmm. um, success today is not the same thing as success in the past. Yeah. So to kick us off, I want you to tell me what is success to you? Okay, uh, that's a really good uh, uh, point to come from. For me, success is you being able to identify what it is you desire to achieve for yourself and focus on it until you attain that point. Okay. Um, for a lot of people, they find it difficult to focus on what it is they want. You know, one minute seems hair's doing very well or running a cocktail business is extremely uh, profitable. But they haven't sat down to think about what their passions are, what their long-term goals are, and what their focus is as to um, what they're trying to get to and what that thing is about. For a lot of people, um, success could be money. Mm -hmm. which is fine. If you just want to be rich, that's okay. How am I going to be rich? What is my journey? What is my strategy to getting to that point? Mm -hmm. If you want to be famous, then that means that's all you're about. You're thinking about in the morning, you're, you're watching other people and identifying who you have similar goals and passions with and you're able to replicate that person's ability to succeed. You just have to identify what your goal is mm -hmm. and where you are going mm -hmm. and completely dedicate yourself and your drive and passion has to reflect. Okay, so that is awesome because that actually is, particularly to a, to a lot of our younger, the younger generation, yeah. what you just said now is a bit of a mind shift yeah. because there's this assumption that when you say you're successful, it means you have money. Mm. It means you don't blow, yeah. you know. But from everything you've said, and even from the dictionary definition, yeah. it's about goals. Yes. You know, it's about attaining those goals. It's yeah. about your purpose yeah. and being very clear on those. as to what defined success for you. So like you said, if success is about having lots of money, yeah. you have to have a plan to get there. Yes. If it's about being famous, you have to have a plan to get there. So mm -hmm. you have to have a plan for everything. Yes, everything. You know, so it's not just it's not just about money is a result money of is success a result in of, some instances. Of, exactly. In some instances. Mm. Um, um, it's not a byproduct. It doesn't happen by accident. Mm. Very few people can say, oh, I just became rich. There's a strategy behind it. There's a drive. There's a structure to it. And there's a tenacity to it. You can't, you can't be on this week and off next week. It, it doesn't work that way. Tenacity, structure, drive. Mm -hmm. even, even with things that seem like they're, they're playful. Like social media today, it seems like, especially for a lot of older people, it's like it's a toy. But mm. young people are becoming rich from these toys. Because yeah. they are focused, they're tenacious about it. That yeah. the more content I put out, the more popular I get, and the more people want to pay me to put their product on my page. It's consistency. It's tenacity. So that then takes me to <laughs> success parameters. Okay. Twenty years ago, twenty to thirty years ago, and now, would you say they've changed? Uh, completely. And the only reason why I would say so is because twenty, thirty years ago, there were few women maybe that thought 
that had ambitions and focused on those ambitions and didn't care about what was going on in the world at their time. Mm -hmm. But for most other women, your job, your role was to be a wife. The fact mm -hmm. that you wanted to be a pilot seemed unheard of. Mm -hmm. Who will take care of your children? Who will take care of your house? Who will take care of your husband? So even without anyone telling you know, a lot of these women, they would tell themselves that they can't leave those other things. They're, they're just as important as their ambitions. So they would rather, they would choose their family over their ambitions. So why did that change? Because today, I don't see why I can't have it all. Why can't I raise, I'm raising children, I'm running a business, I'm running multiple businesses successfully. Who, where is it written anywhere that I can't have it all? No, seriously, let's think about <laughs> it. Where? Because oh, men have it all. They decide, I want to get married, I want to have kids. But they, are, they never stop with their goals. I'm, I'm supposed to be the man of the house making money, and they're at it. They don't stop. But women choose. Why do you choose? Wow. Why can't you structure it? There's so many women today that almost find it a good thing to say, oh, I don't cook. Okay, you don't cook. But you're eating in the house. You've hired a cook or you're ordering food. You're getting it done. So there's no reason for any, for any ball to be dropped, which is why women are able to run a house, manage your husband, manage children, do school run, set, have a purpose. Because we already have the skill set to do all these so, things. But you see, there, there's the thing. We already have the skill set. Yeah. Why can't we do it all? Why do we have to choose? So to be a successful woman today, you can do it all. Yeah. But your mindset is the foundation. Yes, it is. So you are your greatest it's not enemy. Even, exactly. You are your greatest enemy and your greatest friend. If I'm not, you know, I find myself sometimes saying, oh, I'm not doing a good enough job as a parent. But I've learned to build a structure around me. Mm. So I have amazing friends, families, mentors who say, I, I don't understand. Your children are amazing. Mm. Your business is doing great. So even when I find that I'm, I'm self-criticizing, mm. there are people that would take the other point of view and say, no, come back and see it from the way we see it. Mm. You're able to do this. You're doing this. You're doing mm. this. You're doing it well, extremely mm. well, and mm. we're proud. Mm. And even if, they're able, even if they're saying, okay, you know what, you need to slow it down a little bit because it seems you're dropping the ball, they are watching you, mm. and they're trying to be there to support you, which is why it's important to surround yourself mm. with people who are able to guide you mm. and uh, be present in your life in those times when you need them. So, 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 so you said a lot of really, really relevant things. And I want to simplify. Okay. If you were going to, if you were going to design a success, ma a success matrix mm. for today's woman, mm. what would it be? What are the things that somebody can take away and say, okay, tomorrow or Monday, these are the things that I need to start doing mm. on my journey to attaining success? You have to have... Uh a, sh a family structure around you of the right people mm. who can help you fill in the gaps. Mm. You're going to be out of town for two days for a meeting. Where are your kids going to be? Mm. How are they going to get to school? You have you're to put assuming a, they have kids, though. What if they don't if have If you kids? don't have kids, then what you're fine. You're able to get, you need to get to and fro. Um, you need to structure, okay, you know what, I'm going to get here in this way when I get to the meeting. It's structure, it's planning. So you need to always be able to plan ahead. You need to always have a team, a support system around you who advise you and are able to pull you back when you're, you know, you're taking things too far or push you when you need that additional push. You also need to have a very clear goal mm -hmm. because you know, one of the things that a lot of us do, we, we, it's like we're afraid to think f far ahead. I remember I was talking to my younger sister recently and she said she was talking to a mentor who asked for her 40 year plan. And she thought to herself, 40 years, I'll be old. I was like, all the more reason why you need to structure it. And I, and I thought about it, and I said, yes, actually. They tell us to have a five-year plan, so do it. So that's eight sets of five-year plans. Five years, five years, five years, so that you ensure that in 40 years' time, you didn't drop the ball. Mm -hmm. You had a clear goal. So you, those, go, those goal points are important because then it gives you a clear path. You might deter from that path, but at least you know where you're going and how mm. you intend to get there. Certain things can be tweaked as you're going along the line, mm. but at least there's a direct vision. So many of us like to, as women, want to live in one-year pockets because it's easier. 12-year window, okay, in 12 months I can do this, I can do this. Well, why not think big? Imagine going from one year to 40 years. Imagine what you can attain for yourself if you have a 40-year plan. There's so many things you'd be doing today that you would drop and say, no, this is not going to get me to where I'm going. You want to be a billionaire. How much do you have to earn a year? 
to be a billionaire in 10 years? How much do you have to earn a month to be a billionaire? It's goals. If you want to be a billionaire in five years, how do you achieve it? 10 years. You have to sit down and plan. You can't just sit down and just be working. How much do you need to make every month to quantify towards being a billionaire? Wow. <laughs> wow. Would you say being able to do, do you, would you say that who, what, what sex is better at being able to do all these things? Because these are very weighty things. And this is a complete change in mindset, mm. you know, and, and way of thinking. Um, men or women better able to do these things? So that, you know, the battle of the sexes will always be here. So I don't think anybody is better. Where men have their strengths is the Men have a one-track mind. Men are very simple. If he's going to work every day and there's an uh, opportunity in his office, he's th at this point, there's a vacancy up here. Most men, will th they won't think about it twice to apply. Worst case scenario, they'll tell them no. A woman will say, ah, I've only been here three years. It's not yet my time to be there. That's the difference between men and women. Men are one track. They are focused where they're going. But women, if your boss asks you to add on more roles and more roles, you'll keep expanding and training yourself to take on all the roles that they keep asking you to do. But it takes a long time and a lot of self-discipline for you to say, you know what? No. If you're going to give me more roles, you're going to give me more pay and give me the, the title that comes with all these additional functions. Mm -hmm. So women need to or a lot more women, let me not say women, because a lot of women are doing it. Mm -hmm. A lot more women need to own their power and er own what it is that they're good at. We can do so many things. Don't limit yourself. Never allow anyone limit you. I don't have anybody in my life that says to me, oh, don't do this, it's too big for you. Or don't do that. How dare you? You're not worth that. You're not allowed to do that. Everyone in my life says to me, go for it. Why not? Of course you can do it. What's 100 million? What's 200? Of course you can do it. Well, in my little corner, I'd be thinking, ah, if I make 10 million, oh, I'm okay. But when you have people that push you, it allows that little box that your brain is in to just expand that little bit bigger until you realize that there's no limitation to anything you do. Men just always think that wow. all the time. That's the difference. Women try and cage themselves. Nobody else is caging you. Even if people whisper like, our mothers would want to be like, ah, don't go too far, be careful, low, mm. you know, don't, the don't go there. Element. Yes, because mm. it's their, ex their experience. Mm. But they, you never hear them say that to their sons. You can't. Mm. Well, you know, there's some, there's some mothers, like our mothers. Yes, are very supportive. Who are very different. Very supportive. You know, they'll tell you, why can't you? Which is all the more mm. reason why... I, I try to do my best to be around those kind of people. Mm. I try to participate in those groups, you know, Wimbies, you know, ADS Tribe. There's so many groups where you just see people doing things. So even without speaking to people, when you're around people that are just breaking through glass ceilings, mm. you're sitting on your own and you're thinking, I can, I should just be more. You, how, many more how many years? If you have 100 years on earth, you're blessed. Why limit it? Why have regrets? Regrets are the worst thing anyone could ever do to themselves. Wow. Expand on everything. Do it to the maximum. So when you're in your 90s or you're 100 years old, you'll be like, yes, I did. I did that. Oh, didn't I tell you when I did that? That's, that's the life we should all be aiming for, to be able to say I did it all. You can change your career when you're 60. I was telling a friend of mine recently, her mom is in law school and she's in her 60s, about to be 70. Wow. Why? But you know, That's it's amazing. the same thing with, I think, the person that started Burger King, either Burger King or McDonald's. And they started in their 50s. That, there are lots of people who actually amazing. start successful businesses later on later in, life. in life. And I think that's amazing. It's, it, those are all the things that should encourage us to be more and do more. So I'm going to now segue into you as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur. Okay. You own Earl's Icebox. Yes. You are seen as a successful businesswoman and entrepreneur. Yeah. Would you agree with this? Yes, because I'm going to own my truth. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to say, uh, you know, we do okay. But yes, I do believe, um, for me at the time when I came into uh, the industry, it was a small industry, there weren't that many people. Mm -hmm. And I only decided to do it because I saw what a few people were doing and I thought I could do it better. Mm -hmm. And that was, my, that, was, that was my goal, do it and do it better. And when you come into something with that sort of thinking, that's, that's all I've ever been focused on. 
how am I going to do it better? Every single time. Mm -hmm. You know, if I, get, if I get to a venue and I feel like they've done it below st standard, it still hurts. Like, mm -hmm. no, this should be better. I expect more. And, and that is one of the reasons why my company is now one of the form foremost brands in the business. And I'm so appreciative of it because I, I didn't think I'm going to be, you know, people are going to know my name or um, the company is just going to be popular. It was never that. It was just how am I going to do this better mm -hmm. every single time so that my clients are happy, I am proud of what it is I do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it just keeps growing. 14 years on, I never expected. You know, to me, it was like a, a little business when I started because mm -hmm. of the playing field. Mm -hmm. But it's grown, and we've grown to meet every demand, mm -hmm. you know, and every opportunity that's been given to us. Um, and working with beautiful brands, you know, like an Orlando or a GT, where they're particular, you want to be affiliated with that level of success because you know you can. Mm. Every, everybody that built a business, especially a homegrown business, mm. it's an example of how to do better. Mm. So how do you then teach your, your staff, your team, th to, be, to, to aspire for success like you're doing? So one of the things I love about my team, they've all been with me. 90% of them have been with me for over 10 years. Mm. So they live my vision. So they are a part of it. I have so many clients who say, Oh, I don't need you there. Of course I don't need you. As long as I have Yusuf there mm. or Ishil. And that's, that tells me that they, emb they embody what it is that we are about. Mm. They live it. They believe in it. Um, there was an occasion once where one of my staff got really upset with another member of staff. He wants to spoil my brand, my name. And I, <laughs> for me, it was one of the best moments of my business. I, I couldn't speak. He was so upset and telling him off. And I just thought, that's all I'm after. For somebody else to feel the passion I feel and mm. represent it, mm. best feeling in the world. Best feeling ever. Wow. Wow. There's, there's, there's so much to take away from here. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to take you back a little bit. Let's imagine success is jollof rice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Or actually, no, you know, my favorite food right now. Amala, with <laughs> <Bulgarian> <laughs> <stew>. <laughs> So let's imagine that's success. Yeah. What are the ingredients for success? Ah, the ingredients for success, goal setting. You okay. have to know where you're going. It's, it, I mean, it's okay to stumble around and find your feet, but you, you have to know where you're going. Mm. You have to have an idea. You know, you can't just say, if you sit down every day and say, I want to be successful. My dream is to be successful. At what? Yeah. What are your timelines? What are the parameters of that success? Is it financially successful? Is it... Because now, it being popular is now a major goal for a lot of young people. Um, is it being the best in your field? Is it being an identifiable talent? What is it that you want to, you know, what is it that you want to achieve and where are you going? Okay, so, so, so just to interject a little. So, so far, I've gotten goal setting, yes. defining timelines, yes. types of success. Yes, your drive and your focus. Drive. You have to get up every day just as... Um, interested in what you were about yesterday, today, every single day. What if, but they say that even your passion, everybody is, needs you're a not going to be interested every time. Everybody needs a holiday. If you need a holiday, take a holiday. If you need a break, take a break. If you need to um, hand over to your team and take some time off, you know, but because when you're building a business, you are not your business. You're building, you're building an institution. Mm. Because the MD of, oh, sorry, I keep using, because the MD of a company isn't mm. in the office, that business is supposed to run. There's no bank mm. that the MD of that bank is sitting in every branch, but mm. it's running. Mm. So, 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 so just very quickly, I'm going to now go back to personal success. Mm. So it's not just business success we're talking about. What are the ingredients for personal success? Drive, personal drive, um, being focused, and discipline, it's the honest truth. You know, for the longest time, I thought discipline was something you could play around with, but truly self-discipline is the gift you give yourself because you have to know to tell yourself when to stop, when to go, and, and how far to go when you are going. So self-discipline is very key. Wow. I love what you just said now. Self-discipline mm -hmm. is the gift you give yourself. <laughs> it is. 
the gift you give yourself mm -hmm. a lot of us are not a lot of disciplined no. it's it's and it, it happens without you realizing it mm -hmm. and becoming disciplined nobody no one can teach you self-discipline no one mm -hmm. can teach you, you teach it to yourself. You realize, okay, I'm failing, and it's, this is the reason why. So it's making you take a hard look at yourself mm -hmm. and say, okay, if I had done it this way, I would have been better. And some people can dwell in that pl negative place for the longest time and say, well, I failed and I didn't do it well. Mm -hmm. But when you take the step forward and say, okay, I'm going to do it this way, that's actually disciplining yourself. But also recognizing that sometimes you're not as necessarily able to put that mirror in front of you and see it. So if you know that you need help, being able to ask for help to get to that point mm. of being able to be self-disciplined, is that, is that possible? It, it's, a, it's a gift. Honestly, uh, self-discipline is a gift because it's very easy for you to ignore a lot of things. You mm. should know when you need help mm. because that's be you being honest with yourself. Mm. You can't, if you need help, you need help. If you need a break, you need a break. Mm. If you need to... Um, Take a step back. Mm. You need to do that. And th those are all self-awareness factors. Mm. Okay. They're not external factors. Okay, so thank you so much, Isaba. You have literally packed so much into this okay, short time pleasure. we have. Thank you so, so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. We look forward to having you again. Anytime. Um, <laughs> at any other opportunity. Thank so you. I really am quite pleased that we've gone along this journey. And you've taught a lot of us women what it means to be successful. And you, the one, thing that, one of the things you've said is that we can do it all. Yes, we can. You know, so it's about time we stopped saying that we can't. Agreed. Thank Completely you. Right. Thank you for having me. So next up with us today is our fitness expert, Dolly Phillips. <laughs>